we screen all of our sentence probation clients for Medicaid in collaboration with the uh, Depart Connecticut Department of Social Services with the goal of having many, as many people as possible uh, have health insurance. Uh, we do some work around housing. We actually screen not only probation clients, but all of the clients that Gary alluded to that this agency works with uh, to determine their housing status. And if we determine that they're either homeless or at risk for homelessness, we'll refer them for housing services. Our newest initiative that, that have been underway for about, you know, I don't know, six, six or seven years is is the risk-based uh, supervision. It's a evidence-based um, intervention that targets, you know, uh, criminal thinking patterns, right? So we look to identify, you know, folks' criminal thinking patterns and, and behaviors that are contributing to criminal activity or technical violation. You know, it started with a, a, a smart probation grant in 2010, I think, from the federal government and working with our partners at Central Connecticut State University. And we're 11 years later, and we just continue to make changes to our training curriculum um, and, and, and you know, how we're working with our field officers um, with respect to the training they're getting and how we're hoping that they're developing their uh, foundational relationships with the probationers um, to get those better outcomes. I think what uh, we did learn is that we can uh, do virtual work both in our probation offices and in our provider network, right? So as a result of the pandemic and, uh, you know, our provider network's actually reporting that they've seen increases in attendance because, you know, people can participate in, in uh, group clinical or um, educational services, you know, from home right, on their smartphone, on their tablet, whatever it is, uh, rather than have to get in their car and go to a brick and mortar uh, location to participate in services. So over time, we have evolved, right, to do a better job with um, communicating with clients, breaking down barriers, building trust relationships, um, and really trying to help clients understand that we are here to help them.